Your mom told me to remind you before you watch this video to subscribe, like, and at the end of the video, think of something intelligent to comment through. That is all. Your mom told me to remind you. figured if I'm gonna be busting out the farmer handles for grip training, I might as well get a little cardio in there as well. Um, not not to lose weight, but for the GPP, increase, increase the um, greater potential for higher reps and AMRAPs, meaning more gains per AMRAP. Shenanigans such as that, because if you're able to do more, you're able to get more. About as much as you can put in as you can get out. So. A little bit of cardio helps. Alright, so this exercise is inspired by that one episode of Strongest Man in History where um, Brian Shaw and I think it was Eddie Hall uh, were in Michigan at uh, John Paul's place, um, John Paul Anderson, and they find the deep dish 45 pound plates and they both, they, they pinch grip it up saying it was like some sort of record or, or very few people in the world can do it. But I, I, I kind of wrote that off. I was like, okay, that's cool, blah, 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 blah. It's probably, I could probably do that. No, I can't. Um, so with this exercise, I, I watched one of um, Brian Shaw's grip videos that he did for Redcon 1 back when he was sponsored by them. And he explained that all the time, a lot of your, your grip movements focus on these four fingers. So a lot of rows, I have my thumb up, that isolates the back. Um, lat pull down, same thing. Uh, you're, you're not, your thumb doesn't get worked as much as your regular fingers. And a lot of, when you grip something like a deadlift, you grab the bar with these four fingers and then you pull the thumb on top. That creates, that's almost like a, a three fingered hook grip um, for people who don't like breaking their thumbs. So I've noticed that in my deadlifts, when my grip fails, usually, well, even sometimes when my grip doesn't fail, a lot of times my thumb will come out and I'm, I'm basically just holding it with my four fingers. If I can increase the weight in which my thumb doesn't come out, then I'm going to be able to have a stronger uh, attachment point to the bar. So this exercise, 
isolates the thumb because you're pinching. So you're actually building up the thumb muscle as well as the gripping muscle. So um, you're building up that, that thumb grip strength that you don't normally get with regular like rows and other grip, grip stuff. So with this, I took two 25 pound plates and I attached a chain in the middle of it um, just so that I can pick it up without my back in a compromising position. So I'm not picking up from the floor, um, even though a lot of people do that. Um, and I'm just picking it up and then putting it down, doing the other hand and then going back. So it's gonna build up a lot of this, this thumb, thumb grip strength that I have been neglecting for a long time and may be part of the root of my grip issues. I don't know. There's no grip expert in the world, so you can't really be like, hey, what's, what's wrong with, with my lifts? Is it my grip? What's wrong with my grip? What am I missing from my grip? Might as well just make the whole thing strong and not have any weaknesses. So we're gonna avoid that. Let's get gripping away. So I attached a 10 pound plate to the chain in the middle and then had that dangle off the box that I'm gripping off of. So that was 60 pounds of pincher, pinch, pinch strength. Um, so all we gotta do is just add more and more weight and build up that grip strength. So, I guess the max for my weak hand, which is my left hand, my non-dominant hand, which is two inches smaller than my right hand, think about that a little bit. Max for that would be about two and a half reps at 70 pounds for this four inch pincher. Yeah, that's four inches. Assume like two inch width on the, on the 25 pound plates, four inch pincher. And the, the right hand was still going going good at at um 70 pounds, so three reps at 70 pounds. So it's it's a starting point. We we're, we're getting more and more data, and we're building more and more strength. What else could you ask for except for not having to do grip strength because we've been doing it all along and wasn't told not to do it. Well, that one's basically just trying to, to curl the band into the um, reverse hyper machine. With just the thumb, there, there's always gonna be a little bit of, of finger action going when you're, when you're clenching your thumb pretty hard. So as long as your fingers aren't pulling the band to the, the, the thousand pound table, you'll, you'll, you'll feel the pump in your, in your thumb muscle forearm part of your hand arm extremity. Mama always told me that I spent way too much time on my cellular device hitting up the biddies. But who knew that someday my thumbs could potentially be one of my weakest points? People joke about having thumb days at the gym, always texting people, always Snapchat and whatnot. Nah, 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 nah. That's important work. That's deadlift accessories, boys. That's some grip work. But like, seriously though, um, my thumbs have a pump right now and it's weird never felt this before which is probably an indicator that they're a weak point 